Let's go over a bunch of ways that we can animate text in After Effects. This is a great practice lab for you to keep in reference because I've created this so that the text itself literally defines the animation. I'll create a new composition with the settings of 20 seconds and a frame rate of 30. Click on the type tool and then click anywhere on the composition to get started. Let's type transform plus position and it's important to get off that type tool when you're done typing or else it thinks you want to keep adding text. Let's go to the selection tool, then open up the layer that just appeared in the layers panel. We'll focus on the transform sublayer first. So open that up. Here are its five basic animation properties. I'm going to activate the position animation by clicking on the stopwatch. No need to click on that stopwatch again, it will remain activated. That gave me my first keyframe. Let's scoot the time indicator ahead because we need a second keyframe to complete any sort of animation. I can scrub over these numbers to move right and left or up and down, but I can also go right into my composition and move it around like this. I'll start with a simple position move here, and if I scrub my timeline, you'll see that we now have an animation. The transform position is moving from like a point A to point B in about two seconds. Let's go back up to the type tool for something new. I'm typing transform plus scale. Then open that new layer and open transform to try a scale animation. I need to move my indicator ahead and then I'll change the size by scrubbing over the numbers here. Scrubbing left is smaller and right is larger, so I'll go larger. And now we can see if I scrub my playhead, the text gets bigger. I have a grand plan here, so bear with me as we adjust the timelines for each new layer. I'm going to arrange these in a staircase visual effect, which means that one starts right after the other. To do that, we hover over the ends of the timelines to reveal the double arrow, and then we can simply drag the timeline. This is trimming. Let's continue in this manner. I'll start at about four seconds to start my third one and then activate opacity in that layer. After moving my time indicator ahead, I will scrub left over these numbers to make it almost invisible. Scrubbing from point A to point B, we see our text go from full opacity to almost no opacity. I'll trim that timeline as well. Now let's type transform plus rotation. This is a fun one. We'll open up that layer and activate rotation. Scoot the time indicator ahead. Then if I scrub to the right of that second number, it rotates to the right. Likewise, scrubbing left rotates to the left. I would like one full rotation. You can see that it's difficult to land exactly at one rotation scrubbing like this. So instead, you could enter one full rotation and set this number to zero. That's our complete single rotation. Now let's type transform plus rotation plus anchor. Let's open that layer and the transform sub layer. We've used these four properties so far, and now we'll activate the fifth one, our anchor animation. Let's also turn on rotation to see how they work together. So we need to move our time indicator ahead, then let's enter one full rotation. Before we adjust the anchor point, visually locate it in the composition, the anchor point tool will let us move it. Let's move it to the other side of the text box. This looks crazier than I anticipated, but if you look closely, you will see the anchor point move as the text rotates. What if I want to animate a color change? Let's type text plus animate plus fill color. Instead of opening the transform sub layer, we will open the text sub layer. Then go over here and click on the animate arrow to see several options. Let's try fill color and RGB. It uh, defaulted to this crazy red for me, but that's okay. I can change it. Activate fill color and then change the color by choosing white. Remember, nothing is animated until we move our time indicator and then make a change to create a second keyframe. After moving ahead, I will choose an orange. 
Slowly scrubbing our timeline shows our color animating from white to orange over a span of two seconds. Trim up that layer to continue my staircase arrangement of timelines. Let me show you another one. Type text plus animate plus tracking. Open up that layer, go to animate again, and this time select tracking. Notice how that animate feature adds a folder called animator one. When adding a bunch of these, it can get confusing. It's good practice to rename those as you go. I'll press the enter key to rename it tracking. Press enter again to confirm the name change. Okay, let's activate tracking by clicking on its stopwatch. There's our first keyframe. Scoot the time indicator ahead and scrub to the right over this number to increase the tracking. That created the second keyframe. See how our text is animating by adding space between each letter. That's what tracking means, increasing or decreasing those spaces. Let's do another. This one's slightly different. With our type tool, I'll type text plus text source. Open our new layer and the text sub layer. Instead of going to animate, let's see what this source text does. I see a stopwatch next to it, so I know it does something. Let's activate it. Here's our first keyframe. Notice it looks different. Our prior keyframes are diamond shaped, but this one is a square shape. Let's find out why. Scoot the time indicator ahead so that we can create a second keyframe. Source means that we can change the text itself. We do that in the character panel. Let's try a color change first. I'll choose this obnoxious yellow. Now, when I scrub between these two keyframes, notice no change happens until we arrive at the next keyframe. That's why these are square shaped, because they are a different kind of animation. Let's move our time indicator ahead and try a different character change, like font style. I'll change it to noteworthy. See, we have another hard change when we arrive at that new keyframe. Again, these squares indicate a sudden change, not a gradual motion change. No tweening is taking place with square keyframes. Let's scoot ahead and try another. Click on this TT icon, which changes any lowercase letters you have to all capital letters. Press play to see all of the text source changes. I'll trim this timeline. Now let's play the whole thing from the beginning to see what we have created. We've got a position animation, then scale, then opacity, then rotation, then rotation with the anchor point, fill color, tracking, and then the text source changes. As you can see, there are a whole bunch of ways that you can animate text in After Effects. Experiment with a few more changes now that you understand the mechanics of text animation.